when I do my children's storytelling thing, I have a really massive skirt. I mean, huge. You can fit about 30 children around the edge of it. And they um, there's kind of pockets and secret flaps and things in it. So I hide things for them to find so they can join in with the stories. Um, and some time ago, I was given a job um, doing my storytelling thing with my massive skirt in a kind of a spinny in the grounds of um, Nottingham University. And the children were on this kind of um, a kind of storytelling trail and they were working with some theatre people and then they would bring them to me and there I would be this kind of crazy story woman in the woods. So I'd go there in the morning and lay out the polythene sheets and put my big massive frock on, get dressed in my storytelling crown and then wait for these children to come. And um, it was really, it was really interesting. Like some of them would come and be like, oh my God, it's amazing. That's why I pretend to be asleep. And um, they would just, shh, don't wake her up. With some children and other children were like, wake up! And one little boy just ran up to me and punched me in the face. Um, not very nice. <laughs> Anyhow, the best thing about it was that I was just sat in the woods on my own for ages, just waiting, all day, waiting for half a dozen groups of children to arrive for me to do some stories and then they clear off again. And um, I have to have my lunch there. And I found out that the squirrels, the local squirrels, they really like monkey nuts. So I bought a bag of monkey nuts. And I thought so I could like hold them and the squirrels would come down from the trees and, and sit on my lap and climb on my shoulders and things. And I fed them monkey nuts. Um, and so it worked really well with the little children. They thought, look at her. And they'd come and I'd be like covered in squirrels and blue tits and things. Because <laughs> they the birds like them too. They'd just be there covered in animals. And <laughs> she'd be like, she's amazing. She controls the squirrels. They said, yes. Punch me in the face again and I'll get one of them to eat your nose. <laughs>